Guys, I'm getting really worried about the UFC 300 main event, why that is and why it's dangerous for Dana to wait that long as he does in this video, guys. Hello and welcome to Bloodsport MMA. Yo, assalamu alaikum, my niggas, what's good? <laughs> I feel like all I see at the moment on my social media, my YouTube, especially with Jail Sun and stuff, is the UFC 300 main event. And that's for a good reason, because you have to see, Dana announced several times that the main event will come tomorrow, I uh, will announce the big fight this week, then Nina Drama, Nina Maria, or Danielle, however you want to call her, did a video with the oil and Dana and stuff, and Dana participated in the video. It's not just Nina just took her phone, filmed him and just decided on her own that if we get 10,000 comments, I believe it was, he has to announce it this or next week, whatever it was. Dana was participating in the video, so Dana agreed to it. But still, the week is over and we still have got no announcement on Sunday, you know what I mean? So what we have to ask ourselves is, I don't think Dana just does that to, just for fun. I think the main event is not fixed yet. I think they're still trying to figure the negotiations out. I don't know who it is, but whoever is participating in the main event, something is not really going as planned, something is not fixed yet, some details are still worked on, because Dana's also not a guy who needs your signature on a paper to announce a fight, as we saw with Dustin Poirier. If you just verbally agree to it, that's it, he will put it out of there. And I, I, you could say it's a marketing move by Dana to wait that long, but the problem, and that's what I'm trying to say, the problem with the waiting that long is, the longer you wait, especially with all the things Dana said about it will blow your mind, it'll be this and that, the hopes and the requirements of the fans for the quality of the UFC 300 main event is getting bigger day by day. Because what you have to see is, if you would announce, let's just say, Drikus Triplessy against um, Israel Adesanya right after the fight happened with Drikus and Sean Strickland, it may have still been a, a, a little bit, there will always be people hating, but it may have still been a little bit of a, oh wow, that's a fight that has beef, that uh, has a history, it's a cool fight, oh man, yeah, that's a nice fight, you know what I mean? Even though I still think with what he said about how big the 300 main event will be, it will not really fit that requirement, but still. But now, if we announce that fight now, two weeks or three weeks later, people will go off on it. Because now that's not interesting anymore. Now it's not special anymore because you keep talking about how special the main event is and you keep waiting with announcing it that the, the requirements just grow, 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 grow. Now Duplessis see Adesanya is not good enough anymore. Now we need a McGregor. McGregor is basically the only option for UFC unless they have a crazy rabbit in the hat. I don't know, Mark Zuckerberg against Elon Musk or something. If they don't have something crazy like that Brock coming back, whatever, they will not fulfill our requirements and Dana doesn't like to not fulfill the requirements of the fans deep down inside so something needs to be going on there I don't think Dana is that stupid that he brings out let's say as I said TDP Izzy or God forbid Bilal against Leon after that long of a waiting time and all of those sayings of how crazy the main event will be and what also confuses me about this whole theory and what, what makes me think if Izzy DDP gets announced, what would, what would really blow my mind about this is, don't forget, Dana talked about the main event, how crazy the main event is, which sounds like he already had the, the main event in his mind, weeks, I would say two, three weeks before DDP even fought Sean Strickland. And so he, it, it kind of can't be the main event that he had in his vision. My vision is, uh, bro, Blurry. yeah, broing. Because otherwise, why would he talk three weeks earlier about how big the main event will be, how it will blow everybody's mind if he doesn't even know how the fight between Strickland and TDP plays out? Because if Strickland would have won, Strickland against easy rematch, that would blow no one's mind, you know what I mean? So I believe something is cooking and I can't figure out what. I can only think about Conor uh, Diaz, Connor Chandler, but then what is taking so long? Well, Connor and Tia are two guys that like to um, have long negotiations and request a lot of things. But uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm getting crazy over it. I need to know what it is. And I am so afraid that it will really not fulfill our requirements. I'm so afraid that we'll all be hella disappointed by it. 
So write your opinion in the comments, guys. Who do you think it will be? Will you be disappointed? Are you already disappointed? Write all in the comments, guys. We'd appreciate to hear your takes. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel, guys. We'd appreciate that as well. Stay bloody, you guys. And until the next one, bye-bye. Bloodsport out.